and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz. We're going to Bilgewater and Freljord, not the PNZ version that's going to be really popular. This donation deck is going to uh, Freljord, and we're going to have a plunder version of uh, Twisted Fizz. We got our warning shots in here to help turn on plunder, and plunder is going to be important because we got shared spoils to be able to help draw the top unit of our deck. And then even this new Spoils of War. And this is actually going to be my first time playing this card. Spoils of War. No troll chance in here. We're going with this. We got three sisters, which would be pretty sweet. Of course, we're going to be a Starlet Seer deck because we have so many spells. And whenever we're, we're casting the spells, we're granting the top ally of our deck plus one, plus one to buff them up. And then the Shared Spoils can help draw them. We also have lots of other card draw with Pick a Card, Salvage, Twisted Fate, Spray Fin can both draw cards. So we got, got a good amount of card draw in here. And then we got Burble Fishes at our top end. We've seen how powerful this card is. So Burble Fish plus Brayfin is going to be our elusive top end. We also got one other elusive in here with the Prowling Cutthroat. Another good target as far as buffing stuff up. Um, I guess Fizz, of course, is that, that's an elusive too. So we have the Bilgewater elusives um, with Starlet Seer to buff them up. And uh, then, you know, Twisted Fate as like our backup plan. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of old school Twisted Fate Fizz. Looks pretty exciting, and uh, yeah, I think this should be pretty good. Alright, so we'll get to it. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. We got new Twisted Fizz. Oh, Aphelios with Aurelian Soul. Usually you see like Aphelios and then like Zoe in Aurelian Soul, or you know, Leona, or you know, like another champion as well. All right, so I'm going to mulligan the Spoils of War and the Burble Fish. Honestly, maybe I'm just going to mulligan the Elixir of Iron also. Okay, well, how about that? There we go, Starless here. That's what we want to see. Starless here is honestly probably the, the number one card for us to see in our opening hand. Probably just the very best card. And that's why we play Elixir of Iron instead of Troll Chant, because you can play Elixir of Iron to protect Starlet Seer immediately on turn two. Pretty big deal. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's true, Aphelios. Yeah, those moon weapons, Aphelios gives Aurelian Soul, Life Steal, and Overwhelm. <laughs> Just 10 power, life steal, and overwhelm. Yeah, that's. That could work pretty well. So, an immediate pass does kind of feel like. Does kind of feel like they have, like, a challenger or something. Like the. Like Laurent Protege, right? Like, doesn't this feel like Laurent Protege? It probably is, but that's okay. Steal me in. Soap it in. Oh, Veil Temple. That's not protege. That's good for me. Six. I'm not going to level up Twist of Fate this turn. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. But with shared spoils, we can make it seven. And yes, they can go sharp sight block. They're always going to be able to do that. Oh, well, that means I don't get to share its spoils. So 
So yeah, that hurts not being able to share spoils. Now I can't, you know, I needed that to level up the Twist of Fate. I'm just gonna pass. Because if, if they pass as well, we just go to, uh, you know, next turn where we do level up Twisted Fate. And I didn't. I'm not playing the pick a card right now, which, which also maybe I should. I should just be. Maybe I should just be playing pick a card instead of fizz. But I don't want to do it because then that would take down my protection. I wouldn't be able to like from single single combat. Like if they just had single combat, I wouldn't have been able to do much about that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Um, so far, the decks looked pretty good. I'm also just thinking I'm just gonna pass. It's like none of these things are like that great to play right now, anyway. I know I can attack and everything, but I kind of like just having them waste a turn. So they're at Double Veil Temple. So I guess I probably should have... I guess I probably should, should have done that first for like the blue card getting me the one mana instead of playing this 3-3 three, three first. Now the Aphelios will start growing, and the good thing about the Aphelios growing is that means my gold card will hit the Aphelios. I can still use it though. It's alright. That was definitely the wrong one. I mean, they're not gonna pass, they're gonna play something else. Um, yeah, we had it, we had it a. Taskmaster Azir Sand Soldier deck with uh, Misfortune that was really good. By snow and stars. Oh, unfortunately, Twisted Fate got the plus three, plus three. So they played two star shapings. The thing that I'm worried about is that they have the card that has um, uh, the 8 mana Celestial that obliterates all enemies with 3 or less power. That's the one I'm kind of worried about. I shouldn't be that worried about it. I don't think. Because we have a backup twist of fate that, that's a 6-6. Six, six. Alright, I should have played two. I should have played another spell previously, so I would have already had red cards, so I would have had plunder turned on, so that was my mistake. Dead in 
their tracks. Yeah. So that was my mistake. I want to do this before they stun something. Nah, I can let them stun something. Now, where was I? And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Soak it in. Freljord does have these good one mana spells, these Brittle Steel Elixir of Irons. These cards are definitely good with Purple Fish. Another plus three, plus three Twisted Fate. There we go. 17 sounds good. Alright, so far so good. This deck looked very powerful. Ooh, playing some scouts. It's been a little while since we played some scouts. We got a couple of throwback decks between our deck and our opponent's deck. Okay, sorry. So we'll keep Fizz. We're going to mulligan the four mana cards against the faster scout stack. And good. I like Starless Seer. That's certainly a good sign. Fantastic. Because oh, if they also have a sharp sight, then this is really bad. Good, no sharp sight. Because, you know, the sharp sight would have, like, made that challenge better. So I'm planning on Twisted Fate Gold card to kill the 3-2. Wow. They had it, but they just didn't play it? Why Why would they not have played that the first time? Because then they could have had their Valor kill my Starless Seer also. Hmm. That was really good. Obviously, against my my red card, that was really good. Deal me in. Let's slow down their attacks just a little bit. Stun this 4 3. All that glitters. Looks like they got this one. This was like the perfect turn for them, but you know, that bannerman, but now the Rangers Resolve makes that even better because you know they get to free free kills and it's not gonna kill their stuff. This is looking pretty bleak. So I can still pick a card. But like I'm gonna want a twisted fate red card next turn. Okay, so they don't have any more pump. So if I'm going to already want to pick a, or, uh, Twisted Fate red card this next turn, I probably don't need to 
get three fleeting cards that I may not have the ability to play. I'm always up for a round or two. And I just want to do this right away before another Bannerman. Yeah, some Bannerman Scouts. This could be close. Their deck's pretty good. All right, let's mess some folks up. Looks like trouble. Don't back down. Right, I'm gonna pick a card and put Sprayfin back. Yeah. I'm stacking the eye. Maybe that should be Salvage, but I do like how Salvage is a spell. Well, we got plenty of spray fins. My shield is yours. Keep oh, Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel. Warning Shot. Alright, so we're looking for Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron or Shared Spoils. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Oh man. Did have another bannerman. That's not ideal. Brittle Steel? No, <laughs> Jettison! Barbel fish, you ain't helping. Oh, so close. Honor guide me. So I'm I mean my my plan of course is gonna be Fizz Battle Fury. That does use all of my mana. So if they if they have sharp sight block, you know, can't do anything about that. I guess if they have sharp sight, I'm dead anyway though, because this is 11. This puts me down to two. So if they have sharp sight, they would sharp sight kill me. That share spoils was one card earlier. I could have played that last turn and leveled up the Twisted Fate, but I guess that doesn't really help me that much. Nice. Alright, well it's game one way or the other. And we got it. The Battle Furious Fizz. Got him. 2 0. Some Vladimir, but no Braum. No Braum with this Vladimir deck. Hey, what's up, Nihilisk? Alright, we're going to mulligan our hand. We want to find Starlet Seer. There it is. Now, a lot of those, like like the Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, like those kind of cards would be pretty nice to have now. But we had to start with Starlet Seer. That was the uh, number one card we need. Ahmed! Getting that resub going for the second month. Get those hype votes in chat, y'all. Thanks, Ahmed. Hey, Harden. Yep, just took took a day off yesterday. I usually take so I take like two days a month off. That's like kind of my schedule, and kind of needed one of those yesterday just to um, recharge and everything like that. So yeah, that and I don't I don't have like a set, you know, when I take it take the day off. Usually like every couple of weeks. All right, shared spoils. 
Alright, so they do have the Scar Grounds, which is not good. Not good at all. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and blue card right now. I thought about just playing the Starlet Seer or saving the, uh, the other mana, but let's just go ahead and get Twisted Fate in early. Get the... The card draw in as fast as possible. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Attack for 10. 10 is a lot of damage. So I'm pretty confident in like killing them next turn with elusives. Basically, will we will we die their next attack? No, I don't think the Watcher is going to be changed or nerfed next patch. I'm not expecting it to. Yeah, and that's that's definitely the thing, Kordak. Is I yeah I want to take the yeah the days off before the patch for sure. Three sisters can definitely be good. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Zappa. Where can I find a full bodied red? Let it flow. I do have to block everything. I don't know, maybe I won't be able to kill them next turn. I I regret getting rid of my Fizz. <laughs> uh, I can't tell if this this one has any pluses. Alright, so what so I'm going what, pick a card? Spray fin? This turn? Now, saving Twisted Fate, I don't know if that's going to be that great for us. I don't really want to red card their stuff, especially with them having Crimson Disciple over there. I really don't want to red card. And it would, it would cost so much mana for me. Like, saving, saving Twisted Fate with three sisters and then also trying to do all that damage to them would not be that easy. It's definitely not going to be easy either way. That's like 8, 10... Well, this is kind of just another all-in moment that I don't really have much uh, counterplay to anything that they would do. Ah, that's too bad. Make the Empire proud. Just got me, because, you know, we were going to spoil the war. Just got me. Maybe if I would have just used Entreat last turn. It would have been a lot more difficult for me to kill them that turn, but maybe if I would have just used the Entreat. Or not entreat, but um, entomb. You know, if I would have just entombed the Vladimir. Okay. Thresh Nessus. I can imagine this being a little difficult, because they're going to have, like, um, Blighted Caretaker and stuff to to kill things, and just lots of ways in general to kill things. I'm going to mulligan these two. Let's keep the pick a card. Obviously, we love having the Starlet Seer. Love seeing the Elixir of Iron as well. Command. 
Thresh Nasus. No, so the balance patch isn't new cards. Balance patch is whenever card the cards that are existed are are tuned and changed to be um, to try to make the the game more balanced. That's what it is. That's what a balance patch does. So that could involve some cards um, being buffed up that don't really see play right now, or that could be cards that are too good getting nerfed some to. Uh, bring them back down to the pack. This block saves me the most life and also sets up my red card the best. I'm always up for a round or two. And I don't want to like do pick a card first and then play this for red card. Like sometimes you think, okay, well maybe they'll play something. Well, we we do know they have their two champions. Oh, right, it's only turn four. It's not going to be Thresh yet. I was thinking that I didn't want them to play something else and then you know, like play like a Thresh and get like all these kills. Right, that's not even Thresh turn. So maybe I should have let them play something first. Putting back the spray thing because it's just the most expensive card. Jess, thank you so much for that for that resub. Saying thanks for all the interesting deck ideas. You are welcome, Jess. Thank you for that. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. So if I want to play Elixir of Iron to protect Twisted Fate this turn, that's one mana. And then if I play Pick a Card, that's so that's four mana. That means I only have one extra mana, so I won't have enough. Burble Fish will cost two. Oh, I guess I can just throw the Warning Shot away. Okay. Let's go with the Twisted Fate pick a card, put a regular pick a card back. Because then that will... That will make my Twisted Fate that I'm putting into the deck non-fleeting. All right, good job, Verbal Fish. Now this game's heating up. So we do know they still have another champion in hand. Could be a second Thresh, and so it could be the box. Only six mana to work with. I guess we're gonna get a little bit more mana. So that's two units dying for Thresh. So now we've turned on Plunder. For the Shared Spoils. Season. 
Yeah, purple fish creating elixir of iron is pretty nice. Where's things at? This thing's at two. All or nothing. Do I let him make it three? Not real reason to do that. Okay. Good turn. Now that spray film we put back's bigger. So that'll be blue card. Let's go Fury. A red card. And just in case. Fly away while you can. Hold it, sweetheart. So the blue card will give me the one mana back, so I'll have three mana, so I do get to pick a card. But yeah, you know, like that that three sisters Fury of the North, that's an awesome card. That was created by Burblefish. Burblefish creating spells is not not really fair to have a zero mana three one elusive that also creates a good spell. Yeah, they could have the Shri yeah, the Shrima deny would be pretty bad for me. Alright, Thresh leveled up. Right of negation. AKA Shrima deny. Because this pick a card is going to turn back into Twisted Fate now. So I won't actually be able to play that. It does feel like this is a good open attack. Okay. I wasn't going to open attack though. I was going to play Twisted Fate. Cause I think because I still had it if they if I go Twist of Fate they go Ruination. Oh, Zoe Aphelios. This will be our toughest test yet. Can we find Starlet Seer right away, please? No Starlet Seer. Mm. Spoils of War helps protect. Let me get rid of this. From the three one, the three four Boxtopus. That's the name of that card. Glad we found Cutthroat. So the question is, what do you think will be the balance changes? I could honestly see like a good amount of balance changes happening. Don't know exactly what they will be, but I could see a, a good amount of changes happening. You know, like purple fish. Would be nice. You know, I'd love something to happen to Aphelios and just Targon in general. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like this is going to be a time where there's going to be like uh, 15 to 20 cards that are changed from nerfs to buffs. Because they've, they've done that, you know, like, probably, like, five, six times before, you know, changed a bunch of cards like that. Like, 15, 20 cards. But it's been a long time since we've had that. And so I could definitely see that happening again. Since it has been a while. Alright, we have the plunder turned on from the red card. Got him. <laughs> Red card away two things. Kill that mountain scryer. They gone. It was in the cards. It was in the cards. A great red card followed up by a great spoils of war. And they just couldn't handle it. They were like, I'm losing to spoils of war. I can't, I can't handle it. I'm taking my cards going home. Uh, poor Zoe Felios player. All right, so I think what we learned here with these games is Twisted Fate's really good. 
but I mean, I was really impressed with Burblefish and Pick a Card, right? Like, um, Pick a Card was a card that I, I hadn't always loved with Twisted Fate, but with Burblefish, now like always being like zero mana, it just it just makes it's so easy to play that. And Burblefish is just like the best top end card for this kind of deck. You know, like we used to play, uh, we used to play the five drop. Where, where are you at? There you are. Slippery Wave Rider. And that Slippery Wave Rider was awesome in this deck. But the thing is, is like Burblefish is basically Slippery Wave Rider, but instead of costing five, it costs zero. And it also creates you a spell. <laughs> and, and, but they're, you know, it's not, you know, it's easier to kill Burblefish. But I mean, they hit basically the same three, four. You know, like there's not really that, you know, it's just one point of difference between those two. Um... So yeah, Burblefish being in here, definitely a big upgrade. Now those games, we did a great job of drawing Starlet Seer. I think we had Starlet Seer in five of the five games, right? Like, didn't we have Starlet Seer every single game? I think we did. So we did a great job drawing a Starlet Seer. Um, and that's that's definitely key. Because, you know, it's, it's a really nice um, attacker and blocker early game. And then also it, it makes all of your draws better. Um you think Burblefish will be nerfed to two attack? I would, I would, honestly, my preference with Burblefish is just get rid of the created card. See what happens after that. There's, it's just obnoxious that this thing creates a card. People have asked, like, what to do with Twisted Fate. Like, Twisted Fate's honestly ridiculously good, right? Like, it's, it's amazing. Um, but it's, it's not an easy card to nerf. If you're, if you do want to nerf Twisted Fate, it's not an easy card to nerf because I don't think you can just make it cost five I don't think you can change the power health. I think it's it's at a good spot with the mana cost power health. So really what you the only way to nerf Twisted Fate, I think, is I think there's three things you can do. I think you can change the level up to be ten plus cards instead of eight. Right? Like that's something you can change. Um, but then it's it's like the really it's the destiny cards. These you can kind of touch a little bit. Red card, not so much, because like the whole thing about Bilge Water is dealing damage to the enemy nexus. So you know you can't really do anything with red card. But blue card, you can get rid of the refill one spell mana. It could just be blue card, draw, you know, draw one. That's it. I know that like a tune is also in bilge water, but you don't. That's not really necessary, right? Like, is it? It doesn't even say. It doesn't even have like a tune as part of the the skill. So you could get rid of that. So like that that would be a little bit of a nerf, not letting them get that extra mana. You could also with this. I was thinking you could get rid of like the deal too. Maybe this is this is just stun. So like maybe. Like, what if, what if it did that? What if it just, you know, draw a card, deal one to all their stuff, or stun the strongest enemy? You know, like, that that's a pretty big nerf if, you know, get rid of that two damage. You know, that two damage and that one mana matter in a lot of games. And so, like, those are, those are some, like, little nerfs I think you could do to Twisted Fate. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, that Bilgewater stuff was good. The Freljord protection was good. You know, we got the card advantage with the Shared Spoils. Um, and Spoils of War. We got a very spoiled deck here. But it looked good. It looked good. Um, yeah. So there we go. If you want a, a different way to play Twisted Fate Fizz, you want to do the PNZ version that everybody else is doing. You know, you want to be, um, you know, you want to be trendy. You want to do something a little different. Do something cool. I'll go old school with Freljord. And you got your new edition of Three Sisters. You got your new Spoils of War. You got some cool stuff here. You even got Battle Fury to finish out games like we did in one of those against the Scouts deck. All right. But that's it here for Twisted Fizz. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Um, you know, let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what what do you want to see buffed or nerfed uh, in the upcoming expansion. Always love seeing those those comments and you know talking cards and everything. So feel free to leave those comments as well. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.